Novak Djokovic is once again facing deportation after the federal immigration minister cancelled the visa of the world number one for a second time. Djokovic has been ordered to report to Border Force officers at 8am, at which point he is likely to once again be detained ahead of a hearing on Sunday. Just two days out from the Australian Open, Novak Djokovic was up early for training. But by late afternoon, his hopes of winning a tenth title had crumbled. The immigration minister confirmed he'd cancelled Novak's visa for a second time. After five days of deliberation, Alex Hawke released this statement. Today, I exercised my power under Section 133C3 of the Migration Act to cancel the visa held by Mr Novak Djokovic on health and good order grounds, on the basis that it was in the public interest to do so. This decision followed orders by the Federal Circuit and Family Court on January 10, quashing a prior cancellation decision on procedural fairness grounds. In making this decision, I carefully considered information provided to me by the Department of Home Affairs, the Australian Border Force and Mr Djokovic. The Morrison government is firmly committed to protecting Australia's borders, particularly in relation to the COVID pandemic. I thank the officers of the Department of Home Affairs and the Australian Border Force who work every day to serve Australia's interests in increasingly challenging operational environments. The Prime Minister later noting Australians have made many sacrifices during this pandemic and they rightly expect the result of those sacrifices to be protected. As sources close to Novak told Sky News, his lawyers are aware of the Minister's decision and are considering their options. The news sparked mixed reactions on the streets of Melbourne. I think uh, it's a wrong decision and I think it's like a, like a circus now. I think it puts uh, Australia in a very bad footing with uh, the sporting world, especially uh, tennis. I think it was the right decision. I think um, it's fair. Everyone that has to get into the tennis needs a vaccination. We need to present our vax when we walk in. We need to wear our mask. We need to check in. At the end of the day, it's, um, it's a sad thing, but um, we have to think about the community and keeping the rest of Australia safe, I guess. I think given the amount of people who haven't been able to get back into the country um, with harder circumstances, I think it's the right thing to do. The decision came after days of delay. There are so many areas whereby the Morrison government's character shows out that it always responds too little and too late, that it never actually uh, envisages a problem that's coming down the track, doesn't act until a problem becomes a crisis. Novak Djokovic and his participation in the Australian Open has been the number one sports story in the world for months. As it stands, Novak is set to be detained, deported and banned from Australia for three years. But his lawyers are still able to challenge the decision in court by seeking an injunction, allowing him to stay in the country. We don't know what those grounds are and therefore we can't guess really uh, what Novak Djokovic's team will be saying are the grounds that they will challenge this, assuming they will, as I expect they will. The Djokovic saga dragging on for another day as the rest of the world watches on.